daydreams and fantasies as well. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for around the bag? Uh, yes, you are, everybody. Welcome to Around the Bag. My name is Ian Bag. I'm the host of a virtual show where I invite three friends over to my house virtually, and they vie for my love by answering a bunch of questions. And by the end of this, hopefully they will be my BFF. We could turn that music down in the background. That would be awesome. I just want to put that out, guys. Turn that music down. Uh, today, we got Ron Vague is here. We got uh, Rajan Hawk is here. We also have uh, uh, Dan Roberts. He's here. Let's start this up today. Where's John, Where's John Huck? We seem to have been... We're missing some John Huck and Rooney. There he is. There's John Huck. John Huck. I don't know why he became so big. Let's... Uh, there he is. John <laughs> oh. John, we are dealing with some difficulties tonight. This is going to be fun. We got some questions already. Some people are chirping me over there in the corner, even though I can't see him. Oh, there is John Huck. He's over in the corner. Hey, guys. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the new set. Sure, it doesn't work always the best way it's supposed to, but we're getting there. We are on a Love budget it. of zero. And if somebody doesn't like it, they can kiss my left nut because I am yeah. trying to run the world on $45. <laughs> uh, guys, let's have you tell everybody all about you. John Huck, tell everybody all about you. Uh, I um, uh, got an album out right now you can get called Compromised Maturity. That's uh, anywhere it's streaming or on my website, uh, johnhuck.me, M-E. John Huck. No H, but a H on the end of Huck. No H well, no, on, on John. the beginning of Huck. No, there's no H in John. Then there's an H right, in no, the beginning of Huck, not the end. That's right. Ah, oh, so Hollywood. So Hollywood, John. So very <laughs> Hollywood. That's my fantastic. Name's, my full name is Jonathan. Jonathan Huck. It's got to be an H in there someplace. Anyways, hey, yeah, let's move on to Dan Roberts. Let's have no, Dan no. Roberts tell about, about him. John, shut up. I'm trying to talk to Dan now. Dan, Shh. tell everybody all about you. Well, I'm a top-rated afternoon radio host who suddenly finds himself out of work thanks to COVID. So I oh will uh, begin a podcast very soon, and that's going to solve everything, isn't it? <laughs> that is going to be fantastic. What's your, what's your podcast going to be about? Hey, it's Afternoons with Dan. Right, exactly. <laughs> and you can only listen to it in the afternoon. It'll have oh, a lock on it somehow. Yeah. Play some music that the, that they'll come flying at you. Uh, you can't play that music on your goddamn podcast. You got to pay for that, you son of a bitch. Don't even try to have fun with it. End up with some shitty music that's from right. some band. Well, thanks for being here, Dan. Apologize about your gig getting canceled, but that's the way it is in 2020. We're about to be hit by a meteor. <laughs> anyway, Ron, that's right. tell everybody about you. Hey, well, I am a stand-up comedian who, after 19 years in California, just decided to move to Las Vegas. So here Ooh. I am in Las Vegas, just for a few months or however long COVID lasts, so maybe five years, 10 years. Who knows? Oh, uh, I'm also a New York you Giants football fan, really so that? I really have, have nothing to live for right now. What? Have you really moved to Las Vegas? Yeah, I'm in Las Vegas right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I should have known by the so, nightlife behind you. It's fantastic. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because your wall looks exactly the same in San Francisco. <laughs> so I no I'm too cheap to buy art. I spend it all on gambling. Or windows. You, you're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the housing Trump talked about. The windows are going to be tiny. The windows are going to be tiny. That's fantastic. Well, welcome, guys. Thanks for returning to the show. We're going to have a great time tonight. I was hoping to see some scroll up here, but we don't got any scroll going on. We might be able to fix that. We might not be able to, but keep on chirping, ladies and gentlemen, from home, and we'll see if we can get that all fixed up. Let's start this game out. Hey, guys, November. Where do you? What do you? Here's my first question. What are you going to do? for thanksgiving it's a different one this year so what are you gonna do for thanksgiving oh we got a little bit of there up there that's interesting let's start out with john huck john huck what are you gonna do for thanksgiving um not 100 percent sure yet no definite plans but um probably order a pizza oh you're not gonna you're not gonna have turkey you're just gonna get a pizza well maybe we'll see i mean like i said everything's up in the air everything's crazy we might just have turkey maybe we'll have turkey the day before Things have gone different. Want. Dude, dude we could so have married, breakfast right? for dinner, dude. We could have breakfast for dinner. 
Oh my God, you have got, you've got to be kidding me. It's not that bad yet, John. Calm it down, you son of a bitch. Ron, what are you going to do for a Thanksgiving? Well, exciting news here in Las Vegas. After like 20 years, my boyfriend has gone from vegetarian to eating meat. So this is the first Thanksgiving together we will actually enjoy a turkey. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic. You are going to have a turkey. John is not. We're checking out people's logins up there, so we should be broken into at any point. <laughs> I want to mention to the people in the background, the login is actually on the screen, so be careful. Dan, what are you going to do for Thanksgiving? You got no job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Usually we bring turkey dinner out to my uh, parents' house because uh, they're they're up there in age. So we try to do that. So hopefully some version of that will still happen. That's weird. So you take turkey to your your parents' house because they're up there in age. They can't come to you anymore because their driving's no good. So you have to take it to them. You have to have to risk your life. That is fantastic. Those are all good answers. <laughs> Let's check with the world and see what kind of points they gave you everybody let's see what kind of points they gave you i wonder if this is going to happen let's see if somebody is going to get up oh, y'all got zero you're all bullshit on that answer you guys are gonna get no points so far that is fantastic we forgot to Hi. pay the Asian children to do the math and work this out so zero points for everybody <laughs> Hey there. <laughs> guys, my next question. This is a lot of fun. I love it tonight. I can just say guys. Usually I have to say guys and girls. What's your next question? Here's your next question. But tonight it's all guys. It's all fucking masculine. Goddamn guys on this show. <laughs> Let's, do this. Let's do this. Hey, are you going to get a new iPhone? The 12 is coming out. It's going to be connected sure. to the 5G. It's going to be so fast. You can watch this show before you even knew it happened. It's going to be fantastic. Are you going to get the new iPhone 12? Dan Roberts, I'm talking to you. You got no job. I guess I'll wait, but probably not. I actually, I actually uh, switched over to the uh, Android to the Droid this last year. We got a few lemons from the Apple people in a row, and we decided we're done with that. Oh, what company were you going through? What's what so, phone? I hope they're not a have? sponsor. They are but actually. Now we got, I got a Samsung. Can you tell, by the way, things are working perfectly. They were sponsored by <laughs> Apple. Fuck you, you son of a bitch! Oh my! I thought God. I saw Ron, Tim right? Cook's fingerprints all over this. Oh, uh, you can see fingerprints all over this show, but they're not Tim's. Ron, are you going to get the new iPhone 12? <laughs> Absolutely not, because I have no idea about technology. I didn't even know it was an option. Let me tell you, I had the BlackBerry till the very last moment, okay? Oh. And then I only recently got, I don't know what I have here, a 10 or 11, and it's because my other one but busted. But I kept the BlackBerry for so long that I was mugged one time, and they kept oh. yelling, give us your phone, give us your phone, and I handed them my BlackBerry, and they took two steps, and they said, what the hell is this crap? And they handed it back to me, okay? So Damn. I am not on the cutting edge of technology you're on the cutting edge of security is what you're on the cutting edge of that is fantastic <laughs> are you gonna get a new phone come on you son of a bitch you're having breakfast for lunch lunch for dinner come on no no i'm not gonna get a new <laughs> iphone man. Oh. oh wow my god they're Jesus like a Heinz. million fucking dollars dude i mean why how could i they're like a million they're a million and six or something oh, they're expensive million six I don't know who you go to your for your phones, but may I suggest you switch? Hey guys, let's give some points away. Let's find out what the world thought. They might give you zeros again. That's the way this is working out tonight. Uh, da, 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 da. Will there any be any points? No points. Nobody liked your answers. The world said no. Keep them at zero. <laughs> oh my god, this is a tight game. <laughs> We're tight. Very tight, tight, tight. This is like a goddamn San Francisco 49ers game. It ain't happening. Let's ring this up right now. <laughs> There we go. Hey guys, we've all been wearing masks. Well, most of us have been wearing masks for quite a bit just through this year. So you must have a favorite one by now. What's your favorite mask that you're wearing? I have one that's the Seattle, the Seattle Kraken. I love that one. That's my favorite mask. What are you wearing? Uh, let's start out with what? Around the bag. I take a group. <laughs> we almost started the show over, but we didn't. It didn't happen. That's how many points we had right there. Well, that was interesting. I don't know what happened there, but that scared the fuck out of me. A little piece of poop flew out of my butthole. Hey, guys, here goes. Ron, <laughs> tell me about your favorite mask. Well, you know, I don't all, I have tons of masks and they're all blue and they're all boring. And that's because I tried to get like a nice mask in the beginning and I lost it in like two days. So just oh. boring masks. No favorite mask. Oh. 
I love it. You're using the same technology from getting robbed for a mask as you did for robbing for a phone. You didn't upgrade. You didn't upgrade at all. John Huck, I feel like you wear some fun masks. Now I just do a plain, oh, plain black. Hold on, check out Dan's Whoa. points. What the hell happened there? He didn't even answer. It just got a shit to the points for no apparent reason. Good work, Dan. By the way, back Looks to like you, a phone number. What's mm. <laughs> Almost. I have zero points. Oh, John just kicked you oh, right wow. in the Oh, wow. I'm killing it. Uh, John, John, tell us about I your mask before you get the point. Uh, I, uh, I just you plain black, dude. Plain black. I think that's tough and cool looking. Ah, uh, yes. Very nice. No logos. That's no logos. Nice. No logos. Why not? Are you against logos? You just don't want people to know what you like or is it, 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 it bothers you? Why? Why don't you want any logos? I don't know. I just think it's like uh, like how Tyson would come out and just like all black and like didn't need a uh -huh. robe and he'd just take away the showmanship. I love it. You're beating the shit out of COVID. Dan, how about you? Tell us about your mask. Pink with glitter. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, no, my actual mask. Isn't that masculine as well? Uh, no, my actual <laughs> favorite mask. Uh, it's tough. I love animation. I love old cartoons, so I have quite a few, but I guess Johnny Quest. It's just a oh. simple black mask with Johnny's face and then the quest like logo. Mm, very nice. Kind of That's fun. very good. That's going to keep your points moving up. I don't know if you noticed that. John, you got some points for you. And uh, Ron, you got a lot. I think you got a billion something billion uh, over the, over a billion. Good for you. <laughs> Dan didn't. Uh, he's got a he's got like a Perfect. million. And, and, uh, and then John's got. 3,000 or something like that. That's, that's fantastic. I like it. This is a good game. <laughs> hey, guys. Who's the sexiest, funniest? Who's this? Oh, my goodness. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties with my brain right there. Try to ask a question. Wouldn't come out properly. But here it comes right now. Hey, guys. Who's the most sexy, funny person? Who is the most sexy, funny person? Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Start it over again. <laughs> Holy shit, somebody just wants to start their show over and over again. Back to you. Who is the sexiest funny person that's out there? Let's start out with John Huck. Uh, I don't know why I immediately went to Chips and Eric Estrada and just kind of like how he could joke around and still give you the wink and the smile and, you know, be sexy and Eric. funny. Ponch was funny, and he was getting a lot of poontang on that show, man. Else just uh -oh. get her shut down. That was we're just gonna <laughs> shut her down. <laughs> Eric Estrada's manager. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Wilcox shut it down. Oh, Larry Wilcox is pissed. I am loving this. This is so tonight. Uh, Dan, who's the sexiest, funniest person you you think? I don't. I was gonna say you know, but I'm gonna say you think. Who do you think the funniest, sexiest person out there is? And by the way, don't say. I mean, my words, mind just went down. My mind went to stand-ups, uh, so of course Ian Begg uh, is first, but then beyond the Ian Beggs uh, of the world here, uh, I would say Liza Schlesinger, probably, if I'm even saying her last name correctly. Uh, who cares? My God, who cares? <laughs> Ron! <laughs> Ron! You know? I think I hit a nerve or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of digging the look of Jon Stewart lately. Oh, you like him a little gruff? Do you like them a little gruff there, Ronnie? I like it. You're all wrong. It's AOC. AOC is the funniest, sexy person. A Start it again. <laughs> the Democrat <laughs> shut us down there. I feel like That's how bad the technology is on this. <laughs> 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 Woo, guys. Uh, can you talk? <laughs> what is going on? I tell you what it is. My dog's running the my dog's running the board. She just keeps stepping on things. But the question is, can you talk politics with any of your relatives? Let's start out with Dan. He feels like he's got the nicest face. <laughs> wow, do I? Uh, I, I tr oh, come on. <laughs> I talk. Po I can talk politics with my dad. I. I think you're just doing that to me on purpose. I wish I had control of it. I really do. I really wish I had control <laughs> of it. I don't have his hands like that's <laughs> convincing. I can't. Like, I, I don't. I, it's I, not me. <laughs> Some relatives you can't stop from them. They
the bag. I take a group of people. I ask, and talk fast, Dan. What? This I is like Groundhog Day. Like oh my goodness! Hey guys, when I disappear, do, are, do we all disappear? What happens? That, what happens? Yes. Do we all disappear? We all disappear. Yeah, okay, it's everything very, disappears. Very technology. By the way, uh, Dan, to let you know, your answer is no. Moving on to John. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question again? We keep coming what in and out is, so much. I have no idea what we're doing. Story of my oh, life. No, I mean, I get all amped up. No, I can't. No, no. You get, get to get all fired up? Oh, no, it's just, I, I got, I can't. I talk with my mom, yes, but like, other than that, no. Right. Ronald, I'm going to talk to you about this. Is your last, is your, are your full name Ronald? Are your full name Ronald or is it Ronathan? My full name is Ronald. Yeah. Ronald is Christopher, it? actually, yes. That would be wrong. That would be wrong. Your name <laughs> they didn't like my Ronald full name. Nope, it is not Ronald Christopher. It's <laughs> no, no, there we go. It's the John and Dan show. All right. So Dan, Ron. Mm -hmm. I'll interview hey you guys. There he is. <laughs> guys, how are you? Yeah, how, uh, is that, how long were you guys gone for? <laughs> a little bit. 20 or 30 bit. seconds, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was I was just like I just kept on talking. I didn't I just thought you guys were found me boring. I had no idea that you guys were <laughs> you guys were so I was just giving a big speech about how we've been doing this for a while. We're trying to make it all technical. And I really, it's just when you're doing funny, you should just be funny and forget about technical things. I gave this whole heartfelt speech and I thanked my mom for all her support and how I, I miss my grandma, even though she gave me a thousand bucks in stamps when I was 17. And that's 17, uh, that thousand dollars worth of stamps got me to New York City when I was 23. And then I come back and nobody's even fucking paying attention. You're all frozen. And I'm like, bitch, I just gave, I just gave a heartfelt speech. I'm feeling really bad about it anyways i don't remember the question but the uh i'm gonna give you all zero let's move on let's move on i don't even remember the question i don't even remember the question oh my god oh here's the next one this let's see if we get through this without starting up the show again here it comes get ready for it right now john what did you dress up for as halloween um i well i mean i got uh, uh a dude who looks like he gave up that's what i oh. dressed as my God! So Thursday, sleeveless you shirt, sleeveless shirt, sweatpants cut off. Actually, I wore some of Brian's sweatpants. Oh, that's very nice, Dan. What did you dress up for as Halloween? I bought this giant fox head. It looks like a mascot to a sports team or something, and a voodoo uh -huh. hat and some. Uh, what are the what's the the steampunk goggles? And uh -huh. I didn't wear any of it, Ian. Mm -hmm. I stayed home and streamed and, and had candy outside. I bet yeah. you streamed and you didn't start the show up 82 times. I know. That, I, for you. I, and I, I was very <laughs> concerned when you bought all that stuff. You just got laid off. What are you fucking thinking? How are you buying all that shit? Hey, Ron, what did you dress yeah. up as? You're in Vegas. You must have dressed up as. I've seen your walls. You're always fucking doing stuff nice. <laughs> absolutely nothing. I went gambling with my boyfriend all night, and we didn't dress up as anything at all. You went gambling with your boyfriend? Yeah, why not? Can I ask what two fellas like to play? What what we play? We play pie gal poker. Oh my god, you little Asian son of a bitch. <laughs> the whole table is young people trying to drink for free all night long or old Chinese grandmas. I love it. And I yeah, that's the, it's usually, it's usually, uh, <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of a, we got a little bit of a thing. John Huck was president. John Huck was, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Who gives a shit? I love it that you went gambling with, a, uh, with some Asian old ladies and then some young kids and had a good time. I'm going to give you a hundred thousand, whatever. I don't know whatever they give you, but they're going to give you points. Dan, I like that you bought it, but then you gave up. I like that John just bought a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> That is just great right there. And that's that's a fucking that's being a kid right there. Hey, can I wear your sweatpants, man? That's really cool. That's how you that's how you get the old fucking disease that makes your uh, <laughs> junk weird. Hey, guys, here's the next one. We've got one more question. We've got one more question, and this question is fantastic. I'm gonna tell you this question is gonna work out for tonight. How do you calm down when you're stressed? I'm gonna need to know that right now because my blood pressure is through the goddamn roof trying to get this show to work. So let me ask you, how do you calm down when 
things aren't going your way, what do you do to calm yourself down? Let's start out with Ron. Oh, I hang out with my cats. I used Ooh. to do yoga all the time, and yoga was great, but now yoga stresses me out. So now I have animals, and I just hang out with them. My God, a guy that went gambling on the weekend with his boyfriend loves to pet pussy. John Huck, over to you. Uh, I still do. I recommend yoga mm -hmm. and uh, meditation mm -hmm. and weed. Those would be the three you, things that I would recommend. You, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get serious now, and a lot of people aren't yeah. used to that. I'll say it right now. Do you smoke weed before you meditate? No. 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 No, because it makes you think too much, right? Well, no, it's yeah, it just becomes a distraction more than it. It's what the it's not it's not the goal there. I find the weed, weed makes is, me. Yeah, which is fair. That's good, but it also stops people from like stabbing each other with forks and shit too. You know. Oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how you calm yourself down. I'm not talking about how you get things for free. Dan, let's go with you. How do you calm your? <laughs> Well, I'm another vote for the uh, the cats. We have two cats, and they definitely relieve the stress. And then uh, unwind God. with some kind of funny TV show or movie, I would say. Something oh. that doesn't make you anxious on top of your stress. That, yeah. yeah. Well, that's you gotta you gotta be you gotta be able to escape. I find myself I can watch a show that will make me panic. You gotta pick the right show that'll make you escape. <laughs> Guys, that is the end of round one, and you all did very well. Even though we started the show six times, everybody's out the lead. John Huck has zero. Dan Roberts has oh, 2,132,844,000. That's a lot. I don't even know if that number is right. And he's very close. Ron and Dan are the are the, uh, are the the Don and uh, Joe of this, this right now. They're very close. I'm Kanye. Sad, we're going to call, yeah, John's going to be Kanye for the rest of the show. <laughs> Let's move over to, let move over to Pickett. run it's for guest in 2024. Mm, hey, get it all together. Get your big ass <laughs> wife out there. Someone said right. I dressed like Tina to calm down. I don't even know what that means, but. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> you got Cody up there. Cody's up there yapping. He's back. Uh, you can't get rid of that kid. He didn't slow down. Uh, X equals Y. That's why he, I love that. That's a good name. Dr. Get Good. He's here. He's at weed. Lots of weed. I love that guy. Uh, Max Matthews says animals. I love that. Good. We're going to so we're gonna read those every so often. You guys are in the chat. Make sure you chirp with each other. Make sure you let us know that you're watching. Cody, don't just follow everybody. Usually he follows all the women on the show. Kid's got a little bit of a boner. He gets all excited for the ladies. He just follows them on the Instagram and bugs them. He's a little bit of a weirdo, if you know what I'm talking about. Hey, guys, it's time for pick. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. It is time for pick it. Good. Here we go. So we're going to go with this. I'm going to start with John. Then I'm going to go to Dan. Then I'm going to go to Ron. Get ready for this. I'm going to start with John. I'm going to go to Dan. And then I'm going to go to Ron. Get ready. John, trick or treat? Trick. Treat. Treat. Oh, very nice. He doesn't like a spanking. Dan, almond joy <laughs> or mounds? Uh, I guess okay. Almond Joy. Oh, he likes his nuts. Here we go, Ron. Milky <laughs> Way for Snickers. Uh, Snickers. Snickers. Very nice. Very, very nice. Never get yourself down. I would say Ron's at the top of that one. Dan and, and John are tied for a second. Here we go. We're going to start out with John, and then we're going to move on back to Dan and then Ron. Get ready, John. UPS or USPS? UPS or US USPS? Oh, very nice. Helping the country stay afloat. Dan, email or text? Email or text? Text. Oh, it took him a while, but he figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, Ron. Here we go, Ron. Here it comes. Flying at you right now. Call or Zoom? Call or Zoom? Zoom. Oh, he's gone. God damn it. He doesn't have a good phone, but he's gone. Technology. Technology. Technology into the 2021. <laughs> good for you. Ron, just kicking everybody's ass on that one. Just had a good time. Let's start it out. John, get ready. John, here it comes. North Dakota or South Dakota? 
<laughs> no Dakota. Uh, oh, Dakota. <laughs> South Dakota. South Dakota. Very nice. I don't know which is different. I have no idea. I wouldn't have picked one, but you decided. So there will be a lot of North Dakotas mad at you. Dan, get ready. Here it comes. Dan. All six of India. them. India. India or Pakistan? India <laughs> or Pakistan? Pakistan. Oh, is the show still going? Yes, IT's finding it okay. Pakistan is right. Ron, get ready. Mars or Uranus? Mars. Oh, you're Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> Good for you, Ron. Just kicking ass again. Came through first place. I like it. Let's go back to John. John, two tens. That's Dan. We're going to go to John. There he goes. John, two tens or a single 20? Two tens or a single 20? Single 20. Single 20 makes you feel like more like a man. Cock swinging man. I like it. Very good answer. Here we go, Dan. Dan, quarters or niggles? Quarters. Quarters. Oh, very, very We're nice. Nickels. <laughs> oh, I, I, you'd be surprised. There's a couple of those gumball idiots out there. Get ready, Ron. Get ready. <laughs> Pinball or video game? Pinball? Pinball. Oh, you're a wizard, you son of a bitch. You're a goddamn. Look at that deaf, dumb, blind kid. He sure played him in pinball. Can't do that with video games. Get ready. Ron, it's coming out there. Get ready. John, John, get ready. John, lake or river? A lake or a river? Lake. Who likes it calm? Likes it calm. Get ready, Dan. Here comes your question. Noodles or rice? Noodles. Noodles. Or rice? Noodles. Very good. Noodles. Noodles, are fun. Noodles are fun. Rice, you can't just suck up into your mouth and kiss another dog. Hey, get ready, Ron. <laughs> Mountains or valleys? Mountains. Mountains. Oh. Mountains. Very, very. Keep it high. Keep it high. Go up, go down. Very nice. I'm going to give Ron the lead on that one, too. Here we go. This is the last one of this. This is the last one of Picket. Get ready, people. We'll find out who the winner is of Picket right after this question. Get ready, John. John, floss or water pick? Floss. floss. Oh, poor boy. <laughs> John was a poor boy. Didn't have a nice thing. Hey, get ready, Dan. And Roberts. Dan, Crest or Colgate? Crest or Colgate? Crest. Ooh, very nice. Crest. Four to five to disagree with you. Four out of five don't disagree with you. Ron. Ready? Yeah. Mouthwash or gum? <laughs> Mouthwash or gum? Oh. Oh my God. I use so much of both. Gum. Oh. Gum. Gum, gum you can carry with you. You look like a weirdo if you got a whole bottle of scope walking down the street. That's <laughs> okay. According to, that's scooped and brewed. He says, Chris, I think the winner is, the winner is definitely, Dan Roberts was definitely the winner on that one. I apologize there, John and Ron. That was very tight for everybody. Get ready. We're about to do round robin pair. We're going to go head to head with some fantastic trivia right now. And guys, remember, you can always use your <laughs> computer phone to help you with the answer if you need it, okay? You can always use your computer phone to help you with the answer if you need it. The first question is going to be Dan is going to verse John Huck. Dan versus John Huck for the first one. Get ready for this. We're going to put Ron up in the corner there. Watch it, watch it. He's in a soundproof booth. This seems to be working much better than the other rounds. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. Hey, guys, here's the first question. John, get ready to go against Dan. The first one to say this question writes will get the point. Writes, right, will get the points. Get ready. What does WWW stand for? World Wide, World Wide Web. Web. Oh, John Huck just snuck a little in around Dan Roberts. I've seen Dan coming around. He's he unemployed, so he's not used to getting up and hearing a blarm. Uh, John Huck gets that one. My God. The next question will be Ron versus Dan. Ron versus Dan. If you want to bring Ron down, Ron, welcome in. My goodness. This question you guys might get right immediately, or you might need your computer phone to help you. Here it comes. According to Greek mythology, who was the first woman on Earth? You can use your computer phone. Greek mythology, <laughs> who was the first woman on Earth? Go ahead. I know you want to answer. Pandora? I still have a Blackberry, so it's hard for me. Pandora. Oh, Ron still uses Blackberry. 
<laughs> oh, Pandora, yeah. <laughs> Pandora. Oh, my goodness. That is a very good answer. Dan, you got that point. So far, John has one point. Dan has one point. And Ron has zero. Sadly, Ron has zero. Ron, you're going to go up against John on this one. This is going to be very exciting. Oh, you guys are probably going to need. I'm, I'm going to say, if, if you're if you're like me, you're probably going to need your phone on this one. I, even the people at home, I'd love to see what their answers are right now. If we could see the people at home, I'd like to know what they are saying about this. If there's any chance of putting them in. Get ready for this question. First one to answer it gets it. With Oh, my goodness. I just had a seizure. The first one to answer it right gets the point. Oh. What author wrote Winnie the Pooh? What author wrote Winnie the Pooh? Oh. Alcoholic oh, isn't that, um, it's like letters, 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 like E B A A A A A A A. I'm just gonna look. A A is right, and then Ron, very nice. Milne, no, not mint. Ron got it already. You're a little slow on the uptake there, John. So far, Ron has one, John has one. And Dan has one. What the hell? Let's bring you all into the next one. The next one is going to be everybody versus everybody. I like this part. Oh, there they are. They're back. Milner. I like that. He was Canadian, I think. That was one somebody music chick He was Canadian. That's how Canadians say it. Canadians always say that. I think he was Canadian. Canadian. We always say that. But I think it was Canadian. Well, he wasn't Canadian, but his grandma was. And that's how they got to the States. His grandma married a guy from Buffalo, and that's how they got to the States. Fantastic. Here comes the first question. First one to answer this one gets it right. I love you guys playing, by the way. Everybody that's playing, thank you for playing up there. It makes me happy to see you guys all playing, even though we have, we've we been a little bit off tonight. You know, we're getting better every time we do this. Because... That's the way the world works. You got to do things to get better. Back to the game. Here it comes. Here we go. Everybody. Everybody versus everybody. What states do not believe in daylight savings times? Arizona. Arizona? New Mexico. Arizona is right. One of them. And there's one more. One more. New Mexico. Looky, looky, loud. New Mexico. Looky, looky, loud. It's the islands of looky, looky, loud. Hawaii. There we go. Hawaii. Very. I thought my I thought my hint was very nice. You guys didn't even go for it. I was looky, looky loud. The islands of Hawaii. Spam does not believe in daylight savings time. John, Huck, two points. Dan, one point. Ron, one point. We got the next one coming up. You guys are all against each other. Whoever gets this next point will go up against John in the final round. So hopefully John does not get it. Get ready. Here we go. <laughs> what, was the, <laughs> what was the first toy? What was the first toy? That was advertised on TV. This is a very interesting question. What was oh, the first oh, that was advertised Brian question. on TV? Mr. Potato Spratt. Head? God. Very nice Mr. Potato run. Head is right. God very damn. nice yeah. run. Nice Did job. Did you look that up on your, your computer phone? I, it was one of my first two guesses, and then I looked it up to verify. Oh, well, Wayne Ruth, says, he says Mr. Potato Head to Mr. Potato Head. Because I, for whatever reason, I was thinking maybe Barbie, but I don't know anything about Barbies. Ah, and I was, then I was no, thinking Barbie Mr. Potato be. Head. So I just did it. I just looked it up quickly to verify. You did very, very well on that, Ron. Ron, you're going to go against John for the finals. But you know what the hell? I'm going to bring you all into it. This is three. Three on three. My God. This is like pie oh, gal yeah. out the dominoes. Right. Let's Get ready. This is the question to find out who will be my bff for the week of november 4th all the way till november 11th 2020 <laughs> year of the covid my best friend you'll be getting calls from me you'll be getting uh texts from me and you'll be getting a lot of questions from me my bff will be found at the end of this question here we go what breed of dog was the cartoon marmaduke what breed of dog was the cartoon marmaduke uh, oh Great Dane. Great yes, Dane. Yes, he's a great Dane. Dane. Good job. He's my best friend for the week. He's my BFF, John Hux. I wish this would have some fireworks. There we go. Look at that, John. <laughs> That's the have. It's going to be fireworks. You are my BFF. My God, fantastic. Congratulations. And let's be honest, guys. There can only be one winner, but we're all losers on this show tonight. So uh, I appreciate <laughs> you dropping by and having fun with me and letting me deal with my technology, getting 
worse and then better and fantastic. I thank everybody at home for watching. I'll be here again next week, next Wednesday at the same time, 7 p.m. Well, I will try to find a new best friend for the week because I know John's going to be tired after he's my best friend for the week. So <laughs> thank you, John Huck, Don, Don, I was going to call you Don, Don Roberts, Dan Roberts, unemployed, by the way. If you're hiring, he would love a good job. He needs to go see his parents for Thanksgiving and he needs to get some gas money. And Ron V, he is That's doing a big show tonight. Uh, he's doing a, uh, where, tell him about your show. I'm going to tell, tell him about your show. These people might want to tune in. So what? Oh, it's live comedy on Zoom. So go to live comedy on Zoom.com and then follow through there. And uh, yeah, so it's every Wednesday and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Pacific, Pacific. Nobody could ever figure that part out. Pacific uh, standard time. I wish you had Pacific time. 8 p.m. Pacific time. My God. Guys, thank you for dropping by and being my friends. Wear your mask, stay safe. And remember, Ian Bag is always here on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. for you. Thank you, John, for being my best friend. Goodbye.